Hello, I am uh, in my living room actually, uh, and I have decided to make a video showing all the stuff I bought in Japan. For those of you who don't know, I was just in Japan for like two weeks, it was amazing. And now I'm back here and I'm depressed. I have a humongous suitcase I had to buy in Japan because I bought so much stuff. And I figured it'd be more fun while I'm packing it just to kind of show you guys because there's a lot of cool stuff in here. And uh, yeah, it'll make it a little more entertaining than just silently doing this on my own. So first off, uh, here's a Dragon Quest line. I wanted a crane game. I'm a big fan of crane games. Uh, so I, you'll see a bunch of little prizes. There will be some I won't be showing um, because uh, they may pop up in a Sea Dog VA video. Uh, wink, wink. So if you're a fan of uh, his um, crane game videos, yeah, just stay tuned to his channel for that. I got these two uh, right before uh, we left. Basically checked out of the hotel and uh, my wife let me just go run up to the arcade for like, I don't know, like 40 minutes or something. So I just grabbed, I just won these two, an Espeon and a Torchic um, while I was up there. Uh, we, we were basically staying um, in uh, Sunshine City, which is a giant mall in Ikebukuro. Some random leftover snacks. These are just fries, uh, Moss Burger fries. I didn't get to eat at Moss Burger. I was going to, but I was too busy, busy eating like, you know, good food instead. But, or like fancy food. I think this is like blue cheese and this is, well, they're both blue cheese, I guess. Well, I haven't had these yet. Sunshine City specifically has, I believe the world's largest gachapon store. I think, uh, I can't imagine what would beat it. It was ridiculous. And in, in the store, uh, the last day as well, when I was just sort of walking around, I got uh, some gachapon. Uh, these are, Love Live Sunshine. I thought these were just coins, but these are magnets. And uh, if I had known these are magnets, I would have gotten more because they're actually pretty nice. But we got Kan Kanan, Mari, and Rico. Um, and the other sides are black. Oh, oh, and they have different, actually, you see they're different outfits on the back too. But yeah, I didn't realize these were magnets until I put them in my pocket and they it together. They had Odd Taxi catch upon, so I got an Otakawa. Uh, I was very lucky. I managed to get my character um, sweeping away here. Uh, this was a pretty lucky pull because there were a lot of different things you could have gotten. Um, but that's just a button. Uh, what is this washi tape? Is that what this is? Know. Well, I didn't want it. I, they had, there was like a machine. Chinese for gotcha. I'm not listening. Yeah. To you. <laughs> oh great. So yeah, this is washi tape with like scenes from the anime. Uh, I just got like three rolls of that in the gotcha, and then I got a little gotcha figure of one of the idols. Um, great show if you haven't seen it. Um, just watch out for spoilers. That was actually all, all in a bag I was holding through the airport because I won these the last day, but now it's time to actually open the suitcase. In fact, I'll just show you what it looks like. Uh, that's how big it is. So let's let's venture forth. Here's a Raichu. I got this the first day in a crane game. It hugs you. I found a uh, mob uh, pop-up parade figure. Um, I had gotten the Reagan, but I totally missed the boat on the mob. So this was a nice a nice find, uh, since I love Mob Psycho. Uh, Tessa Testarossa, Full Metal Panic, um, Nendoroid. Um, wasn't even planning to go into this Mandarake, but a friend um, was shopping and I, I sort of just peeked over and I, I found this and I was like, I've been wanting this. Um, yeah, I, I love Full Metal Panic, so uh, there's that. This is a um, Toru from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Really nice figure. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it might have been because of um, how I was carrying it in the bag. It kind of stamped a little bit, but it actually doesn't matter when you have it standing up. So you can't even notice it. Not cheap, but it's really nice. So uh, very happy with with this. Oh, that's just garbage. Okay. Here's a Vaporeon pillow I won in a crane game. It just says showers on it, which I love that that's the Japanese name. Yeah, 
at the Ami Ami store in um, Akiba, they have a Game Center CX section. So I got a Game Center CX shirt. Now, uh, in terms of what size I usually buy, I'm a medium in America. So I usually try to get large in Japan, but sometimes I couldn't get large, so I would get a medium, which I still think will fit. This is just a nice Game Center CX shirt uh, for those of you who know what that is. Oh, wait. Show me. Oh, wow, I didn't know you got that. Mm -hmm. Japan has a chain of board game stores called Yellow Submarine. So I ended up buying a bunch of games and trying them out, and the key was to find stuff that could be learned easily uh, without like rule books, um, stuff that you could just look up a PDF online. Um, I got Ghost Blitz 2, which is a great game, very funny. Uh, I had played the first Ghost Blitz in my previous Japan trip at a toy museum. Um, very funny, it's about like, you have these objects and then the rules are like, you pull up a card and it's like, which object is not represented by color or picture, I need to grab it first. And then Ghost Blitz 2 adds a bunch of really hilarious rules like, you gotta say stuff in a different language, or you gotta not grab it if it's this thing, or... And anyway, uh, absolutely destroyed my friend Aubrey. She was enraged playing this, and that alone was worth the purchase. This German game, Ex Spitz, this was okay. Probably won't keep this. Um, it's just like a simple roll and write. You, the gimmick is that you poke holes through the paper and, and like, the bubbles. Like, it's, it's fun, but it's kind of like Baby's First Roman, right? Uh, and then three that I have not uh, gotten to play yet because we didn't have time. Uh, I just picked them up because they looked simple and interesting. This one's Kezao, which I believe is a game of... It's kind of like Ghost Splits where it's something about, oh, if you don't have the color in your hand or something, or if I think it's if you roll dice and whichever picture has the colored dice, you put the card down. It's something like that, but it, it looked fun. And again, it looked like a game that would piss off Aubrey. Uh, the Sound Maker. This is like, you have to like imitate sounds of photos. This seemed funny. Uh, and then a game called uh, Worm Up, um, which looked really silly. It's just like you're making chains of worms and um, you have to like, they, they like run into each other and stuff. It's something like that. Um, yeah, the focus was just finding like simple games that were language independent um, that could be played because uh, I can never not play board games. Stop by the Ghibli store. This was my second time going. Also got this film strip. Uh, if anyone, I think this is Ponyo. It looks like it's like an underwater tower. If anyone can correct me on that, let me know. But got a shirt there. Um, for those who haven't been, the store is called the Mama Ayudo store, which is great because I love Porco Rosso. And I got this Mama Ayudo shirt. Uh, Mama Ayudo bobblehead um, of the boss. Um, there was a giant one that was expensive, but not like unreasonably expensive. Well, that, that's debatable, but I was tempted, but um, you'll see why I didn't get it until later. But my friend Wilco got it. Um, so it was like a, it's like a huge, maybe like this big version. Super Nintendo World was just a bounty of things. They have way better merchandise there than ours. Uh, I had to get this Universal Mario Kart trophy because uh, I love getting like park mer exclusive merchandise. Um, if you haven't, it's like chocolate coins or something. I don't care about that, but um, yeah. Uh, the, you, you can see this in the ride queue and I thought, I, I just look, I gotta pick that up. They had these blind box pullback cars. So I got the bullet bill, uh, you know, blind, but I love bullet bill. His arms turn as he goes. And then I got the secret one, which is actually this Lakitu. And his gimmick is that he actually goes backwards. So he's like, it's like he's filming the racer as you go. So uh, very happy with these two. It's really nice shirts. I got a bunch of shirts. This one's a b bomb shirt. It says Bomb Hay, because that's the name in Japanese, but really nice pattern on that. Um, I got the Teresa, uh, Teresa, Teresa. Boo shirt, again, very cute. Um, I got this very threatening what's in the box shirt. It just says, what's in the box, you know? I love when Mario crossed over with the movie Seven. And then we have some question blocks here. And uh, 
Oh yeah, on the bottom you can see it's just some items, but I just thought this what's in the box message was so amusingly threatening for a shirt. Canopio Cafe shirt. Uh, I am the chef. I am the chef! Cheap, cheap, puku puku shirt. Um, and actually, if you get this wet, I believe it changes, there's like a background that changes. It turns a color or something, probably, probably blue. I'm a sucker for anything with Mario enemies and the Japanese names, because I think they're very charming. Um, I got the special edition Golden Mario Power Up Band. Um, and then a bunch of us got it and pretended it was Wario instead. Um, and this has all my uh, Osaka Park data, if I ever go back. I would like to go back, actually. The Osaka Park was actually really nice. Ah, Capcom Cafe. So there's gonna be like two installments of this because I just went crazy here. Oh, not just that. Also, I got these Tonagawa card sleeves at a yellow submarine. Um, thought these were great. I picked up a Danganronpa. This is, I, I, I posted this on Twitter. It's, it's some kind of werewolf variant. Um, I just liked it because it had a Danganronpa on it. Um, but I think you can, I can think I can find the rules for this and actually play it. And then a whole bunch of Ace Attorney merchandise. Here's a Godot mirror. I didn't know this was a mirror. I just bought it um, because it had Godot on it or Godot. Some stamps that I don't need, but are cool. Um, you can see they got great Ace Attorney characters and um, modern day characters. Sort of pen holder, uh, or you can be, you can put like a toothbrush in this even. That's what a friend of mine was saying. Uh, with Susato from um, Great Ace Attorney on it. And then there were blind box stuff, and my first go around I got both Susatos, which is great because I love Susato. She's probably one of my favorite, not probably, she's one of my favorite characters from that game. And some nice pens. Uh, Maya Fey, if you can see that little pattern. Baroque Von Zeeks. It's a little hard to see that. And then uh, a Phoenix and a Susato. It was very hard to find. I don't think I got like any Edgeworth stuff because it was so hard, they was all sold out, but uh, understandably. Got this really nice bag. I just loved how beautiful the art was. Um, so I had to pick that up. In fact, I can put a bunch of uh, the Capcom stuff in here. They're not Tsum Tsums, but Tsum Tsum style little little plushes of great ace attorney characters, Baroque and Herlock, along with, you know, I just bought everyone I could find, Apollo and Clavier, Godo, Kazuma. Um, the, I think the only ones they didn't, here's a Maya. The only ones they didn't have were, I think Phoenix, Edward, and Ryanosuke. But what are you gonna do? And then the other blind bag stuff. Uh, I got a Ryanosuke patch. Got a Maya Fey mirror, cause I'll just get anything that has Maya on it. This is an acrylic stand blind box and I got Apollo. Oh, and then the bag itself is gorgeous. For the 20th anniversary, um, they have the, that bag in this bag. And it's uh, a Ace Attorney bag and it's the art by the Tatami Galaxy artist. Uh, I believe they also do like Asian Blue Generations albums but when I saw this, I was like, I have to have this. This is amazing. A Litwick plush that I want. This one was a bitch to get, but I eventually got it in the end. I picked up uh, a copy of Love Letter um, from uh, uh, the Ami Ami store, um, Game Center CX themed. By the way, when you see, if you see price tags and stuff, it's crazy in Japan right now. Like this is 2200. So it's a, the yen is so weak right now that it's like 30% off in dollars. Normally you'd be like, oh, that's $22. But with conversion rates right now, this is this is like what? 15 bucks instead. Like everything, it's like everything had a fucking discount. It was nuts. That looks like dirty laundry. Got these really nice Porco Rosso glasses. Uh, this one is... Uh, Porco and, why can I not remember, Gina, uh, on here, really nice. Porco and Fio. Um, Porco also a favorite Ghibli movie, have to get anything related to that. On that note, the reason why I didn't get that giant bobblehead was because 
I found this in Nakano Broadway, this amazing Porco Rosso uh, statue, which is also a music box, which I did not know until after I bought it. It turns, I'm just balancing it in one hand. But yeah, look at that. It's hefty too, like this is like, what do you call it, it's like ceramic? Like porcelain? What is this? Yeah, it's like porcelain. It's heavy. Uh, and it's beautiful, too. They had these at um, the Ghibli Museum. That's where they got this. Uh, I don't... I think this was maybe cheaper. It might have been marked up. I don't care. It, 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 whatever. For me, just the excitement of seeing it was worth the purchase. And honestly, not going on Broadway, I... I I, that was the only thing I, that and the glasses were the only thing I bought. For those of you who don't know, Nakano Broadway is like normally a really great place to buy a bunch of cool nerd shit, but I didn't find them. I bought, I bought more Naki by this time. Okay, here's the one piece bag, and it's just a bunch of these, uh, what are these called there? But they're just like uh, buttons. And they're blind bag, and they're a bunch of them are like birthday, so you could like grab like a oh, this is a January bag, and you get like so it's like, here's the Mary. I'm not gonna go through all these because it's gonna be like 30 minutes of me just going through a bunch of you know one piece buttons. But once I saw like how nice they looked, I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna get like because they weren't that expensive either. I was trying to get Cat Viper, I, I didn't end up getting him in the end because they had a whole set that was Wano. Um, you're not even getting a good glance at these guys, kind of pulling these out. Oh, here's the Phoenix, uh, pin I was looking for earlier in a blind bag. Oh, this was like an interesting find. I was, uh, this was Kyoto, I believe. I was looking for just any merchandise and I found a, uh, random Halloween pin of my Grand Blue Fantasy character, uh, Brasaraga with the jack-o'-lantern. I just happened to stumble upon this in a store and I thought it was... Cool. So yeah, these One Piece pins are like cool. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with them, but they're cool. Anne Marie got me this great gachapon of a chop. Is this chop? Yeah, chapagetti uh, from a sh like a ramen themed uh, gachapon. I thought this was awesome. And then I also got it from a gachapon uh, Bochi from Bochi the Rock. Here's uh, Odin. I got a plush of a future character I voice, but I can't show it. I don't even know what's in this bag. Oh, that's right. I found a cool store that did official anime shirts, so I got this Cowboy Bebop shirt. Uh, it says Asteroid Blues, which is the first episode. It says Session 1. I uh, just thought it was a nice, classy shirt. They had some pretty cool shirts there, but this was the only one I ended up picking up. I think my friend Steve just gave me this because they didn't need it. Uh, I don't even know why I'm showing it. Just a little Lumiere gachapon. Uh, it's funny. Mugs of the bags that I showed before um, from the Capcom store. Nice 20th anniversary mugs. I don't usually buy mugs, but again, Ace Attorney, I'll just buy it. I'll literally buy anything that has it on it. I think the only thing I resisted, they had like a Godo like scent spray that was like 50 bucks. I was like, I don't think I need that, but um, yeah, just some nice mugs. From the Mugiwara store. I got this gum gum fruit shirt. That was nice. And then these were, I was super happy with. These are shirts from the Nintendo store and they're all shirts of old classic Mario games with the original like art. Uh, so this one, uh, I believe is, yeah, it's a yellow shirt. I can even, I'll take it out. Look at that, that's great. I, so, once I saw these, I was like, well, I gotta pick up Super Mario 2, um, which is pink, as you can see on the side. And then Super Mario Bros, um, which is orange. Super Mario Bros. 3, which is a blue shirt. Wow. Uh, well, thank you for joining me on this journey of me unpacking my shit. I really went hard this time, but no regrets. Uh, and there's still a bunch of stuff I didn't get to show for either NDA or... Uh, not spoiling um, uh, Sea Dog VA's next video. So, anyway, see you in the next one. Bye.